here. Our shack, barbecue, and other things. Let me move my mic a little closer, so. So, today, I'm gonna do a rack of ribs. I'm gonna do it a little different than what I normally do uh, as far as the seasoning. But what this whole video is about is things that Costco enticed me to buy. That's what I think I'll call it, enticed me to buy. So it's a product review, uh, yeah, something I picked up at Costco uh, that was on sale. And what it was, uh, the first item that I'm going to do this with, you went back uh, a few months ago, you saw I bought that air fryer, and that thing is telling you, worth every penny. And I'm a barbecue guy, but uh, that air fryer mm, works really, really good, and I really like it. Uh, this time, what I picked up in the summer is <coughs> this right here. Six-piece barbecue knife set. Cut resistant bag and knife sheaths included. Uh, what does it say? Kang Shan? Beautiful function. Uh, it is uh, national. Uh, it's got the NSF sticker on it for food safety. Uh, kind of look at the back of it. Kind of see here. It's got a little bony knife. You got your forks. Uh, let me uh, put my glasses on since I'm getting old and getting blind. Okay, that's better. It says 8 inch rocking chef's knife, 10 inch butcher's knife, 11 inch slicing knife, and then you got your uh, different sheets for them. And then you have your bag. Uh, I believe this was on sale for $59.99, regular $89.99. So you're saving about 30 bucks. And. Uh, Let's get it open and see what we have. Regulators! Mount up. Let's get in this box. I put the safe tabs in these pop up. Okay, so then that opens. That opens. That opens. Card. We've got some uh, Thomas Keller. That's Thomas Keller. I don't know who he is. Sorry. All right. Got a couple more little boxes down in here. And it looks like is all your knives are in this box. And your nice sheets are in there. Pull the bag out. It's a nice heavy duty bag. Uh, yeah, it's got a good feel to it. It's not a roll up bag like some are. Got no zips. As you can see. Okay. This comes up. There's your, your knives would go. Three of your knives. Got a place for a strap, a couple other knives go up here, probably your smaller ones. Good. So there's a strap for it. I don't know if I'll use a strap since this is probably going to just stay out here in the trailer. Let's get the sheets opened up. A hard plastic piece. So, so got the three different sizes. 
on it it says, like this says, roughing chef's knife. Perry knife. It's your slicing knife. And then you have your butcher's knife. And that's what I'm most excited about is that butcher's knife. I mean, I, the slicing knife, uh, That'll be nice to have. I've got a few of those. And, uh, we'll see how the knives look. So, careful here. All right, these are the uh, forks. Got a little safety hook for the tips. There's the forks. Like some kind of uh, engraving in there. Uh, this has their name, Ken's, Kings Shan NSF, and then uh, the model number. There's, that, there's some weight to that. That's pretty nice. This is the uh, slicing knife. So, uh, now this is 11 inch, I think most of them are 12. Ooh, careful, that's sharp. On it, it says German steel. Uh, it's got uh, your uh, metal uh, breakdown on it. Uh, I'm not, not a 100% uh, metal all allergy guy but uh, it's got X50 CRMO V15 uh, from what I know that's uh, chrome and then uh, was it galvanium steel or something I think backwards just try it this way. I think it was that way that I had it, but we'll see. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be this way. You're protecting the blade, so it goes in. And what you see here is it's actually slitted all the way across. But it fits in there pretty nice. That'll work. Uh, here's the little parry knife. I like the size of this. German steel, same thing. Got a little safety for the tip. We'll go ahead and take that off. Here is your chef's knife. What do we call it? Got a nice feel to it. Very, very cool. Got in its protective sleeve here. Sheath. These are extremely sharp. I can tell that already. Uh, just being extra careful so I don't cut this. And then this is your butcher's knife. be a fun knife that you use. Alright, so let's get it on here. Okay. Yeah. So like I said, I believe this was $59.99 on sale. Uh, regular $89.99 for this set. My plan is to keep it out here in the trailer. So when we're doing stuff here, it can be used in here to get a drink. Uh, let's see here. 
see if this gives us any information. Uh, gives you clean each, cleaning instructions. Always clean your knives by hand with dish soap and warm water. Water. Immediately dry your knives. Uh, so that's the rivet. That's information about the rivet. Uh, Hassle-free warranty. You know, Costco always has good warranties. Store your knives in a knife block, knife bag, knife sheet, or a magnetic knife bar to ensure the long life. We have a, a magnetic knife bar, two of them over here on the trailer, but uh, I don't really like using them or for storage when we're moving around because they do, they can come off. Uh, so I like to have them, like I said, I'll probably just put them in the bag and uh, put them up in the cupboards. Uh, let's see here. The distinct mosaic rivets in your knife handles are crafted from copper, which is a naturally corrosion resistant and antibacterial metal. However, copper is also known for its beautiful natural occurring patina. So, yeah. It'll probably turn, turn uh, you know, greenish gold if you don't keep it clean. Um, Thomas Keller, the French Laundry. He is a world-renowned chef known for his exceptional culinary skills and dedication to quality of the highest standards. He is the first and only American chef to hold multiple Michelin stars at his critically acclaimed restaurants, the French Laundry, Per Se, and Bouchon. <laughs> he is also an author of five cookbooks. In 2017, <coughs> Jeff Keller led the team from the United States to its first ever gold medal in Bosque d'Or. <laughs> a previously a prestigious biannual competition that is regarded as the Olympics of culinary world. Hmm. Uh, so this little thing doesn't give too much information about you know the quality and. Uh, Marksman or craftsmanship of the knives. Uh, just a lot about, lot about Thomas Keller on the side. Uh, just pictures of it. Uh, Forge German X50 CRMO V15 Valdanium. Isn't that what that is? The V Valdanium. CRMO is, I think that uh, is chromium. Uh, Biabolic, if I remember right, don't quote me on that. Uh, I don't know what X50 is, so Damascus, I don't know. Uh, let's see, steel handcrafted and hand sharpened, keen, 16 degree Asian style edge. Bonus knife sheets included, exceptional edge retention, cut resistant bag, and a patented design. So, yeah, that is the uh, four-piece knife set with its bag. Let's get in here and take a closer look at it. Okay, so we have a uh, rack of spare ribs here that uh, I got from Costco. I've got some excess fat here. We'll see how well, look at that thing. Just slice right through that. Uh, excess bag. Got a little bone there, some fat there. This is not a bad rack at all, um, but I am going to trim this in. And look at that, that thing is just like right through it. Wow. And then you know me, all I do is just score the membrane. This thing is so nice. Uh, cuts it. Let's check this. That's pretty well trimmed up. They did a good job on that. There's no real flap coming up there. Got a little fat here. I'm telling you, this knife is so sharp. <laughs> Let's 
check the other side. That looks pretty good. Got a little bit of fat here. Let's see if we can get some of that trimmed up. Something like that. That's not a bad looking rack of ribs actually right there. Not bad at all. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this uh, dry rub kind of meld into the uh, pork ribs here. I'm gonna go out and get the uh, pellet grill all fired up. We're gonna do it on the pellet grill. Uh, I'm gonna do my new method of starting out at 250, uh, 250 degrees. We'll put them on, let them go for about two hours and check them. After two hours, if uh, it looks like they are the color that I want. Then we're going to kick it up to uh, basically 285, in between, <coughs> in between 285 and 300 to finish the cook. We'll let them go for another hour. Uh, then we'll start probing them for tenderness and temp. Usually I like them about 180, a minimum of 180 to 190 is the ideal that I like. I like about a 10 degree right there, 180 to 190. Then we'll wrap them. Let them rest for a little bit and then we'll cut them. Taste this with just the dry rub and then maybe we'll put some barbecue sauce on them and uh, taste that side too. I think what I'll probably do is uh, right before I, uh, right after I uh, pull them off uh, and let them rest for an hour, I'll unwrap them. I'll sauce half of them so we can have that experience, see what it tastes like with half with barbecue sauce and then the other half just salt and pepper see which way we like so right now we need to go get the grill fired up I'm not going to show you any of that we'll just come back here at the end when we want to sauce them and then uh, show you the knife when I start to slice them I think I'm going to use uh, that butcher's knife that's the one I really want to test out see how well it cuts these ribs so stay tuned here's the rack of ribs we did up now, if you want to see how I cook my ribs, uh, I'll have a link up there on how I prep and uh, smoke my ribs. Uh, you can see they have a nice bend to them. Look at that. Salt and pepper rub only. Get this out of the way. They don't look bad at all, do they? So what we're going to do is I have our barbecue sauce here. A lot of people say we should start uh, marketing this. Uh, we do at our events. So I'm just going to take some, brush it on here, about halfway down this rack. And we're going to try salt and pepper only, and then we're going to try it with our sweet signature barbecue sauce here at Harshack Barbecue. Alright, all that good right there. Get that out of the way. So like I said, I have their butcher knife. That I picked up at Costco. What I like to do, I personally, I like to take my rack from the back side and we will just see how easy this cuts this. Look at that. Just like it's supposed to. Right there in between those bones. Mm. Oh yeah. I can already tell this is going to be good. So I'm going to grab it this way. Get through it there. Get down here to the meaty side. Let's have a look at this. Look at that juice. Alright. So, this side here is the side that we put the barbecue sauce on. And this side down here, the side we did. We're going to take this one right here. Let's give it a try. So, this is the side without the barbecue sauce. Give it a 
the light. Hmm. Nice clean light. The bone doesn't just see the bone just doesn't pull out. But the meat comes right off of it. My little review of the knife set that I picked up from Costco. I'm gonna say yes, it's worth it. Uh, this, these two knives that I just used, very sharp, and uh, the weight to them is great. The thickness of the, I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but how thick that knife is, that's beautiful. And it, the handle balances it real nice. Yeah, go check them out at Costco. Hopefully they'll still be on sale. Uh, I got some ribs to eat. Of course, I'm going to put sauce on them. Like I always say, thank you for watching. You can do this too. It's not that hard. Until next time, my friends. Grill on, shop on. All right, let's eat some ribs.